All right, so I like to start all the videos to make sure that you kind of get a look from the street, the outside and everything like that. Um, this house is nice. I like the neighborhood a lot. It's very family oriented, um, pretty basic neighborhood. One thing I will kind of note is that this street right here um, on Pull off Pullman, you know, it's, it's a little busy. Um, I feel like that that street is kind of the entrance point to obviously a lot of the connecting streets. So that's something just to keep in mind. Um, you know, you're definitely gonna hear some cars and things like that. But besides that, pretty nice little neighborhood. House looks in pretty good shape from outside. Uh, the roof looks good. The roof, to be honest, looks a little bit older. Um, it doesn't look brand new, but it doesn't look, you know, not functioning. So keep that in mind. You know, you can kind of tell some weathering spots there at the ridge cap. And you can also notice that there's like multiple layers laid on top of each other. Generally, that means instead of repairing the roof, they just layered it. So, you know, a roof inspection on this one, I would highly recommend. Um, looks like you have a little side gate area right here with its own little separate entrance. Let's see. All right. Just kind of giving you a little look of outside. All right. So from here once you walk in straight ahead you have a little storage closet for when you know you walk into the house there's also the entrance into your garage which i'll just peek in real fast um pretty basic size garage looks like a two car but to be honest it's a little small um they put a lot of shelving in here and things like that so not really sure if you could fit a solid two cars in here, but you know, it's not a bad garage by any means. Here is the main living room. Looks like the main kind of living space with your fireplace. Um, looks like they're gonna be removing this pellet stove because uh, if I had to guess, probably doesn't pass the county air quality test, but that's something looks like they're taking care of. Um, I do like the tall ceilings. Do not be fooled by that. That is a mirror. <laughs> uh, I felt like I was gonna walk into it for a second, but this is a mirror. So my back is to the mirror right now just to kind of give you a look of the little living space here when you first walk in. And then let's continue into the kitchen. So the kitchen looks really good. Um, you know, it's a little bit tinier and it does kind of lack the, um, that open concept that you get in more modern homes. So it's very sectioned off, you know, that first room, living room, your kitchen here is blocked off from kind of the rest of the house. And then you have your formal dining room to the right of me. So, you know, I like it. It carries a lot of the old traits like the bay windows and, you know, the layout. Um, and they still put in some good upgrades. Personally, I would take down these two uh, doors and just have it a little bit more open transition into what is, you know, the dining room or supposed to be the dining room. Looks like they have a little pantry in here too. Yeah. So I definitely would just kind of open that up. I mean, down the road, if you wanted to get, you know, really creative with it, potentially I would consider opening up that wall. And, you know, if you can that wall just to yeah, have a more open concept in general. Um, I am noticing a couple settling cracks, just to, you know, just so you know, I try to be pretty observant throughout these things. And overall, you know, the home looks pretty clean. There's obviously some staining on the, on the ground there and things like that on the wall right there. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, I try to look and make sure to point out the big stuff. So here's the hallway. Um, here is... One of the main, oh, I'm sorry, ha, that's the dining room. I went into the wrong room. Next to the dining room <laughs> is one of the bedrooms, a pretty good size. You, know, you could probably fit a full bed and one dresser in here. Uh, there are definitely bigger bedrooms out there, but this is by all means, you know, acceptable. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, if bedroom size is one of the bigger things that you are looking for. If it is, you know, um, that's not the biggest. Here is the bathroom. They've done a really good job, looks like upgrading the bathroom. I really like what they did. That's one of my favorite uh, kind of shower backsplashes styles that they make. So they did a really good job. Um, 
you know, I am noticing, you know, they did a good job, but at the same time, I'd like to find out if this was done by a professional or if somebody kind of slapped this in because there are, yeah, that does look like some potential water staining or, you know, just some cracks. So that's something that I would definitely want to continue to further look at. Here is your utility slash washer dryer um, and your HVAC. So this is all gonna kind of be in your hallway right here. The water heater looks pretty new. Um, it looks it looks good. It has its earthquake straps. It has an expansion tank. Yeah, it, you know, it looks like it's not brand new, but it also doesn't look like it's old, old. And then the furnace actually looks really new. That is a nice furnace. So yeah. That's good. And obviously you have your little washer dryer room. And then here's gonna be the main suite. Um, it is a good size. This one is a whole lot bigger than the last bedroom. I do like the size of this one. Of course you have a little access to your, looks like from the garage, you have a little garden area right here that you could, uh, you know, turn this into a little office and view your little garden. I think that's kind of cool. Overall, I like the size of this. Here is the bathroom update here. A very similar look. Okay. Um, closet space. You don't have a kind of a walk-in. It is all the way through and it is a good size. It's just that it's not a full walk-through closet. So you're gonna have the two bedrooms and that is it. Um, one thing, I know we talked about this dining room and opening it up. If you wanted to close off that and turn this into a bedroom, you 100% could just so you have the additional room. You know, I, I, you could definitely put a little round table in that corner there. It's gonna be a little tight, but totally possible if you're willing to kind of give that up. You could also probably fit, you know, a little dining room or a little dining table in here, kind of make it a, a family living room, dining room combo. But once again, it would probably be a little bit tight. So, you know, it's up to you and kind of what your situation is. And real fast, we'll take a walk through the backyard. They have a really good Pytex, Pi I believe the name of it is, uh, deck, which is nice. And that does look like a new AC unit, so that is very cool here's that side gate that i uh, showed you in the beginning looks like you have a whole uh, sprinkler system i believe is that a rainbird i think so um good size little backyard looks like at one point they had this stamped out over here maybe a hot tub a little tiny gazebo maybe you know potential there's potential there for a lot um, it looks like they have some kind of hookup right there. So definitely do something here. But that's kind of the extent to the backyard. It's pretty private. I feel like they can kind of look into your home but or your backyard. But besides that, unless somebody's hugging the fence, you have a little bit of privacy, which I like. Roof uh, from back here, same thing. Looks not in any bad shape. It actually looks better on this side, if you ask me. Um, there's just a couple little slight like like ridge uh shingles kind of going up and you know so that's something that i would consider to get further inspected but yeah so overall the house looks really good um, i'm gonna do one last little walkthrough in it for you just to kind of reference and lock that first all right so I hope that this video helps. I'm gonna send you a lot of information of this home as well. So that way you can just uh, really have everything that you need to make a good decision. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much. I'll be in touch and have a wonderful day.